actor Johnny Depp has found such great success playing quirky characters in films like Edward Scissorhands, Sleepy Hollow, and Chocolat. Now he's back on the big screen as the larger than life captain Jack Sparrow in the action flick Pirates of the Caribbean The Curse of the Black Pearl. Gentlemen, my lady, you will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> What fun, Johnny Depp. Looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, was it? It was fun, yeah, it was great fun. Did you ever think about when you were a little one, you know, being a pirate someday? Was that a game that you played? Oh, yeah, I, I can remember being about five years old, and um, I had the record album of uh, Disney's Blackbeard's Ghost with Peter Ustinov, just the record album. Mm -hmm. And I listened to it over and over, over and over, I mean, to the point where my parents were worried. So this, in, in a sense, when they came to you with this project, because uh, Jerry Bruckheimer said immediately he sought of you to play Jack Sparrow, were you receptive right away? Well, yeah, instantly. I mean, as soon as I heard the idea, they came to me with just the idea first. Mm -hmm. um, Had you been on the ride ever? Oh, yeah. When you were, really? I went on the ride when I was a little kid. Loved it. Were you scared? No, loved it. Loved it. Thought it was cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was obsessed. And then, and then I went on again just before we started the film. It takes you right back. You're instantly, you know, a little kid again. Of course, it takes it to a, a whole new level because there's all sorts of fun things that happen. There's a curse. If you want to, like, sort of outline the premise a little bit. And we have skeleton yeah. pirates, which is really neat. Yeah, there's a curse on the pirates, and uh, they must find a way to uh, lift the curse. And, um, there are a few sort of pieces to the puzzle, Captain Jack being one of them, and, and uh, Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom. And then you have this nemesis in Captain Barbosa, which is played by the wonderful Jeffrey Rush. Yeah, Jeffrey's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have similar approaches to acting and all? What was he like to work with? Uh, it was great fun, you know. It was great fun. It's always, you know, it's always a, a worry when you go into something when you don't know someone. You go into the film and you're thinking, oh, he's going to be real straight. He's not going to want to laugh. He's not going to have a sense of humor. He's going to be real intense in the work. And um, yeah, Jeffrey's nuts. He's got, he's got a great sense of humor. Wonderful guy. Really fun. You're known for being really creative with your roles, and now I read that you actually fashioned Captain Jack Sparrow after Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. Is that right? Yeah, Keith is. Keith How did is you one draw that comparison? I I, th I thought of pirates, you know, of the 18th century as maybe they were sort of the rock stars of their day, and I thought who's the greatest rock and roll star that's ever lived? And to me, it's Keith Richards, easily, you know, hands down. So, um, and Keith, <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a pirate himself. And you actually uh, went out and got your teeth capped, right? When yeah, you uh, yeah. found out about this. So what do you have in there? Yeah, I got a little, like a little, little bit of everything. Yeah, a little gold, a little platinum. <laughs> <laughs> How did that go over? Um, not very well with the Disney executives, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, well, there were a couple who were very supportive, but initially, uh -huh. no, I think they, they were a little freaked out by the, uh, <laughs> the amount of gold and stuff in my teeth. Yeah. I think it's very pirate-esque. Also, you had to... Now, I know that it, in one of your previous films, you've probably taken some fencing lessons, right? For yes, Don Juan DeMarco? Exactly, yeah. What about sword fighting, though? Is that something that you had to uh, work on? Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was very intense, actually. Probably the most intense part of the uh, pre-production and the production, actually, was the, the sword fighting. But we were so lucky we had these amazing sword masters who, who took us through the moves and... Uh, just forced us to work and uh, it worked out because if it if it always, doesn't work out it's yeah, a bad thing <laughs> yeah you know, you know missing a finger or losing an eye you know there was always that possibility I know you have a, a two little ones at home a yes. four-year-old girl did has she seen any parts of the movie what was her reaction yeah, she has yeah she huh? she saw the trailer and just all she said was she, when she saw the trailer is again <laughs> oh so she loved it yeah she loved it she wanted to see the trailer over and over and uh, she was on the set she came on the set and uh, uh, it was just me and her, I'm, you know, decked out in my pirate gear and there's treasure everywhere. And she sort of very quietly looked up at me and said, Daddy, do you think the pirates would be upset if I took some treasure? <laughs>
That is so sweet. Well, I know that she and kids everywhere and adults too are going to love it. It's a really fun film. So, I think it's a fun ride. congratulations. Thanks for being here. Not at all. Thank you. Great to meet you. Thanks for having me. Johnny Depp.